I think this is a pretty good squeeze here, five-handed with the King Jack. I, I, I just expect this button player to be playing pretty passively and, and either calling or folding and, and very unlikely to be slow playing anything. And I think the Ace Nine is a pretty good uh uh pretty good three betting spot here on the button versus a tag. And obviously I'll fold if he four bets. Um, got three bet again. Now we're starting to develop this read on this fish here. 32, 32, 32 with a 23% three bet. And we're deep. So I am going to call here and look to flop, uh, try to improve. Uh, second pair, it's something. It's not a whole lot of anything. Um, let's see here with the ace queen. I am going to be willing to play for stacks uh, versus the shorty. Uh, I am going to continue here. I'm not committed to this pot, but I definitely think I'm ahead of it enough to at least continue past the flop. And we'll just kind of see. Uh, again, I'm not committed at this point. Uh, usually in three bet pots, I, I demand myself to have a very strict three bet uh, commitment, excuse me, commitment plan. Now that he's checking, I am going to put out a small bet that is for value. And it's designed just to basically uh, either get called by worse. Or to and also to buy me the uh, the river card. Uh, so we got it in as a flip here versus the under the gun, and uh, yeah, nice. We made a straight. And so I am going to check this back. It, it, you know, if he has me beat, and wow, he had the nuts. Okay, you know, um, if I check back the turn. The, the reason why I like betting the uh, turn, although it is, I, admittedly, it's thin for value. It is thin. But the reason why I like it better than checking back the turn is he's just going to bet the river, and then I'm no better off than I was on the flop. And the only reason I called pre is because this guy just seems to be playing very aggressively. Number That was number one. Number two, you know, as far as his three betting. But number two, we're 150 big blinds deep. Number three, I have position. Uh, so just like, you know, when you start piling these things on top of each other, I was okay playing this spot. And I think we played it relatively well. We lost two bets post-flop. If we had lost any more than that, I wouldn't, I would not be happy with the hand. Um, as you can see, we just turned, if he actually did just have the nuts. So maybe he's just kind of running hot, uh, with these three bets, but I'm still leaning towards him being a fish. I will complete after uh, with a suited hand after a couple limps. Heck, half a half a big blind. I'll do that. All right. So I open king queen on table three, and uh, a pretty good board for c betting. I open ace jack. Uh, again, a good board for c betting after two calls, but I do get a donk with no real read. Very fishy play. Uh, I don't know how often he's done it. I'm just going to make my standard uh, c bet size. And I'm not really planning, unless I improve, uh, I'm not really planning on putting much more into that, but I'm just not going to give up automatically because of a 20 cent bet. <laughs> um, I, I, but I'm not looking to barrel here when I don't improve. Uh, this five doesn't change anything. I'm just going to check it back. And uh, I'm not looking to put much more money in this pot. I'll I'll call 40 cents, so. And he had the nuts, so. Expertly played.